Hey, just wanted to do a transmission top gear from STRC switchover so you can run the associated if you all choose to. This is the shaft number you'll need. What I do is I use the stock Traxxas gear. And then I polish the hell out of it. All of them. I don't think my camera will focus on it, but... Nah. Best I could do for you. But I do them all. Reduces friction and it does spin smoother. So what I'll do is I'll do every one. Well, let me back up. I'm a big Acer bearing fan. I think you guys would like them too. You all know I don't push no products, just what I use. I don't look in the cell nothing. So um, Tortman bags, they're not that expensive. They come gray. I like them a lot. High service, so use them in trannies, stuff that stays lubed. So, as you can see, I got two in there for the top shaft. So, I like to test fit one shaft at a time. So, I'll put the top shaft in. And I'll put the two cases together. Now, with the Pro Line, it comes with this little shim. You see it's shiny on one side. And not so much on the other because you have to grind it a little bit. You want some play. You don't want it to bind. So what I do is I do one at a time. I shake it. A little bit of play, a little too much for me. So I'll take a shim, put it in there, retest. Same thing with the idler gear. Put it in by itself so you can hear if it's rattling. Put it in, squeeze it tight. Hear that? That's way too much. Put that shim in. Put your bearing back in. Doesn't matter. Easier, obviously, on one side. Get that bad boy in there. Squeeze it hard, ready? Much better. You feel it moving. Much quieter. So we'll take that other shim, lay that bed in there, use the tip to guide it in, look at that. The diff, you really can't do nothing with it, they don't, I haven't found a ceramic bearing, at least one that I like, so I use these from Fast Eddies. I checked the diff loop, it felt real tight, so I left a half million in there. And always screw up, put it in there deep, <laughs> and uh, there's going to be end play on the diff. Look at that bad boy spin. That's why I love them bearings, but listen, haven't found a way to fix that yet. Then you would just take slipper of choice, which I love this one, could be trying it tomorrow, after you put your motor plate on, screw it in, put the drive disc in, you would put your spur in next, fortunately I don't have one handy, drop that one in there. disc, spur gear, and you're going to put this cage, which actually drives the spur gear, clutch. Tomorrow we'll be doing this test on this one, another fiberglass pad, these people really make some good stuff. 
And then again, you'll put this down there. And that's it. Just missing the spur here. When it lines up, it drops right in there. Well, that's how I do mine. Other than putting it together, tightening the bolts down, that's it. Real easy steps. The key is that's what you want. You want that baby free. Y'all have a great night.